Okay, well, my children watched 24. I am going to talk about the Fonera 2.0, which I'm testing now, today for the first time. And what you see here is a Fonera, which has a Views uh, logo, because we're also working with uh, Views with Azurio, so that's one of the features that the Fonera has. But I'll speak about the Fonera 2.0 in general. As you see, what you have here is a Fonera 2.0 with a USB port and a little USB hub that gives me four USBs. I have a Huawei module so I can have a 3G to Wi-Fi connection. This is the dashboard that is uh, managing this whole process and in order to manage it, I just have to write Fonera on the Firefox. That's all. I write Fonera and I get to the dashboard and of course I have to be connected to the Fonera here in the Wi-Fi network. So that's how everything got started. And the Fonera is a very simple and very smart router. First of course it makes you a member of the phone community and uh, you share a little Wi-Fi at home and you roam the world for free and you register. So I just I just uh, connected the Fonera. I'm not yet registered, so it's giving me the warnings. The registration is the same as with all the other Foneras. And what you see here is two rows. One relates to, har to software and one relates to hardware. Uh, hardware, there's the USB disk, which in this case is this pen drive, but it could very well be, for example, this one, which is 160 gigabytes or even those ones there that I have that could be a terabyte. And, uh, and you use that in order to uh, have a Wi-Fi hard drive that can then, uh, you can then access. As I said, I'm connected through Wi-Fi. I can access it and I can uh, browse it as I'm doing now and I can do different things. I can look at pictures, I can play music, um, I can show a little video for my son. Let's start with a video. So I want to play a video. Um, so it goes through the uh, browser, which here has QuickTime, and here it's playing uh, Thomas the Tank Engine, um, which is something I have for my son. I'll raise the volume. Yes, it is annoying, I know, but my son is too. Now, um, so I can, I can go back, and then I have uh, pictures here, so I can also see pictures that I get from my Fonera over Wi-Fi. Um, I'll just get one picture by chance, I don't know what this is. Um, okay, this is a picture of the Atlas Mountains that as they appear from Marrakesh. So I go back um, and this gives you a sense of, of what a Wi-Fi hard drive looks like. Um, you can do a lot of things with music. You can play music. There's, you can also put a USB sound card which costs like four dollars. They're very cheap. That have an audio exit so then you can play music in better quality speakers like a whole system that I have there, or even the ones I have here, the Harman Kardon, you can play those as well. So you can play music from a hard drive or a pen drive into a stereo system without using your computer, or you can play music from the pen drive into the computer, or you can stream music. People are working on Last.fm plugins and Jamendo plugins, so you can actually have music playing on your stereo, and you don't need um, you don't need the computer. So you have uh, something that may cost um, I don't know 50 euros. I don't know how much we're going to price it at yet, but let's say something like 50 euros instead of something that costs you know over a thousand euros and uh, doing the same thing. You can also use a 50 euro router 
two and by, by the way don't hold me at that price I don't know if it's going to be 50 60 I, I know it's very responsible for me to say this being the CEO of phone but I still don't know what the cost the exact costs are of making this router and I'm, I'm working on that so um, then the other things that I have is the the 3G connection so I can I go into the 3G I put my credentials and I basically have uh, a Wi-Fi and HSTP or 3G to Wi-Fi converter so if you need Wi-Fi and you have HSTPA you can do that as well um, there's also plugins for views uh, so you can have torrents uh, coming to the Fonera while you're doing something else so movies can be downloaded into a, pen, a 4 gigabyte pen drive like these ones or 160 gigabyte hard drive like that um, so you can download movies and songs of course always um, do it legally um, and um, you can also connect a USB phone and make phone calls uh, you can also connect a webcam here and a printer like this printer um, well actually a lot of very interesting things for what this device for a Wi-Fi router right and they're all very easy to install the plugins you go into the plugin area and you go to the internet and you download a plugin that you may obtain from our plugin library which everybody's welcome to contribute because this is all open source so you obtain a plugin you put it there and uh, so you obtain a plugin uh, we're waiting here until the plugins login uh, come up I think now things are a little slow because I've basically have a lot of things running and this is a very small processor but it's still here so you obtain a plugin like the Azurius or Views plugin you uh, obtain it by browsing you put it here hit upgrade and you end up filling up the internal memory you can also of course put the plugin in an in a USB and use it out of the USB and there's going to be all sorts of plugins there's going to be a plugin to upload uh, pictures to Flickr, pictures to Picasa, Picasa uh, videos to YouTube. So if you have, let's say, a lot of pictures to upload, you stick them in the pen drive, you put them in the Fonera, and you leave. And you don't need to be tied there with your computer waiting for your pictures to upload before you go to work. And there's more, but I'll stop here. I don't want to bore you. I think the product is exciting as it is, and it's up to you to discover it. And I'm sure we'll launch it in the next 60 days or